You should call her. Who? Your wife. What good is that gonna do? Make me say the words, I left you. I mean, I think she got it. Hi everybody, welcome to What the Flick. I'm Matt Atchity, this is Christy Lemire, Alonzo Durali. I almost called you Alonzo. Uh, I we think get that on TV. Uh, right, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, we're here to talk about some Velvet Morning, which they have seen, I have not. Okay, not a whole lot that I actually can say about this without giving away some really, really major like revelatory plot twists here. But it is what they call, in, in this business that we call show, a two-hander. This is Stanley Tucci and Alice Eve, and that is it in the latest from Neil LeBute returning to his bleak and black-hearted Neil LeButeishness. Um, basically, it's just the two of them in real time in an apartment in New York for 82 minutes. Stanley Tucci is a much older man. He has left his wife of 24 years for this young woman who he had an affair with several years ago. And the entirety of the film is what happened between them and does she even want him in her life and who are they really? Take a look. And Fred, it's very flattering. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, my God. I come and be with you and you're going out to meet him for lunch. What's the problem now? Don't be condescending to me. These are fun to watch, although, you know, it is it is very much a two-hander in the way that, say, well, I guess Betrayal technically has three characters, but uh, Oleana, let's say, you know, the David Mamet movie, um, uh, and play. And, and it's very much a... It's, it's verbal chess, you know, it's who's dominating and who's cornering the other one and who's gonna nitpick down to the last word what the other one is saying and who's gonna call them out on, you know, betrayals or, or, or hypocrisy or whatever. And these are two really strong actors. I've always liked Alice Eve, I think she's terrific. I mean, she's she- a great lead role for her. Yeah, lead. yeah, she, she gets, you know, she was she, she stripped to her underwear in Star Trek, that's probably how most people know her, you know, where she was the nanny in Sex and the City too. but I remember her- t t-shirt nanny. The wet t-shirt nanny, the that's right. Uh, <laughs> the, I always remember her from She's Out of Your League, which I thought she was really charming. And starter there. for 10, she's very good in that, right. too. Right, yes, yeah. yes. So it is. So this is a big, big role for her, and she totally holds her own with Stanley Tucci, who can totally, you know, is, is, is super in his wheelhouse. I, it's hard to talk about this movie without getting into super spoiler right. territory, but I'm going to dance around it. The movie is one thing for a great deal of its running time, and then it isn't. And <laughs> so, and I'm not sure how I feel about the, and then it isn't. I don't know if it was a cop-out, or if it's clever, um, or if it's ultimately revelatory. The movie, Neil LeBute dedicates the movie to August Strindberg. <laughs> it's like, oh, come on, Neil LeBute, relax. But would you prefer At some he... point, does somebody say, are we already in hell? <laughs> but wouldn't you prefer that he do something like this than, you know, a, a Weird ass remake of Wicker Man. Sure, yeah. Or that. What was that movie with Sam Jackson and uh, Lake View Terrace? Lake View Terrace. Yes. No. I would rather. This is. This is definitely the kind of movie that Neil LeBute was put on Earth to make. Um, you know, if you like Neil LeBute movies, uh, then this is. You will be happy about this return to form. I've had a mostly okay time with it. Yeah, it, I, just, yeah. it, it just felt very very reminiscent of other plays or films that are about one man and one woman yelling right. at each other for an hour and a half. Yeah, it is not actually a play on film. It feels like a play on film. Yeah, it's it, original it, it's, it's not. It's not previously a stage production. Yeah. We were talking earlier about how American Hustle is this great high wire act, and I would not in any way say this is at the level of American Hustle, but it is the kind of high wire act where you're like, oh my God, can they pull this off? Mm -hmm. And you're on the highs and lows with them of this emotional roller coaster where they're teetering tottering over who's in charge and who who is who is destroying the other one more verbally and they actually call attention to their word choice so often it's so yes. much fun in that way yeah it is about mm -hmm. language as much as it's about anything yeah. else yeah and sometimes he is a needy child sometimes he's scolding her like a father figure and she's this cool icy hitchcockian blonde and but then there's a a deviousness to her and, sure. and a strength to her that you don't expect, and it just kept me on my toes the whole time. Yeah, the movie. I mean, if you if, if you go in thinking, oh well, you're gonna root for her because he's so terrible. Like it keeps right. The, the tables are turned a lot, so it's like you, the 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 who's the bigger asshole contest is constantly <laughs> one upping each other uh, as far as where your sympathies are gonna lie. So no, I think there's a lot that works here. I I think that it is, you know, you have to have a taste for this this brand of theater. Um, but, uh, you know, it's pretty good for what it is, I it would does, say. It does get shocking, it does get crass. Yes. I am kind of in awe of the way it changes. Because I didn't see it coming. I did and not I think see it, it coming. And I think it works. Certainly. And it, okay. does it does force you to um, 
re revisit everything you saw previously. Sure. And uh, yes, he's saying something about gender roles and the cynical ways which we sell ourselves out. Maybe that's not terribly novel, but he does it with a lot of style. Certainly. So no I had fun. Um, I gave it a 6.8. And you? I gave it a 6.4. I mean, I didn't like it as much as you did, but I, you know, I'm glad I saw it. And, and there's a lot to chew on there, certainly. So 6.6 .6 is our average. And where is 75 it? 75 percent on the tomato meter. Some Velvet Morning is out limited release. So if, if you like pain. <laughs> <laughs> and who doesn't? For Christmas. <laughs> For Christmas. Go see this. Bye. <laughs>